Why did you start preparing gate? What are the sources that you use? What's your mindset is in the exam hall? Actually cracked it without spending a single penny. Discipline is one key important thing. At each point of time, we need to give priority to one one thing. So when you do some work, you will see some progress. Then actually you get more. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me Raghu here again. I'm uh, I'm a master student at IIT Madras. I had given gate and I had uh, given interview and I joined IIT Madras. And he is my friend. He is Ram Balaji. Hello guys. Hello guys. Yeah. <laughs> so he was actually like doing B Tech and he was like uh, final year currently. And uh, he was actually given his uh, gate in uh, EC paper and he got all in the round one. So I thought like okay, come on, uh, let's do a video so that give some tips so that it might helpful for some students. So that's how this idea of this video was born. So Ram Balaji, like, uh, why did you start preparing gate? That's a very simple question. Uh, I started preparing gate because like I wanted to go for M Tech in yeah. IITs if I don't get placed. Yeah, very simple. Like yeah. a backup kind of thing. Like yeah. if you if you don't get placed, you wanted to go for higher studies. Right. So that's where I'm preparing for gate. Very cool. So okay, before getting deep into some kind of technical things, what was your first experience, right? Because A R one is not everyone can get it. And what was your family and friends' reaction? So first, like uh, when I saw the score, I was shocked okay. <laughs> because I thought for my mark I will get in top tens, but I wasn't uh, expecting A R one. A R one, you are not expecting. Yeah. yeah. So it was a shock, and uh, like uh, I again refreshed it, and then like when it was again one, like I felt happy. Okay. First thing is I call my friend. Uh, he was there towards uh, uh -huh. to uh, like throughout my gate preparation oh, okay. and i called him and i said him and uh, he felt very happy for me and okay. <laughs> he uh -huh. said like call your parents and tell uh, it uh, call your and, parents, yeah. and then i called my parents and like i was explaining to them what is air one and uh, everything okay, and okay. like they were also like really very happy and excited yeah, yeah. people uh, especially parents they don't understand actually air one i said i got some air something like that he said what is air like that so air is all in there actually you guys know because you are actually gate aspirants uh, so you you have to convince your parents also at that time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is ar one going for sun is saying something new <laughs> yeah so i it, it would be like a peaceful thing right <laughs> yeah but i uh, only thing is i couldn't see them uh, uh, yeah. live reaction live I reaction but call. you can feel the thing that your mm. parents are. that is uh, your parents is actually really proud of you man yeah. <laughs> okay now the thing is like we have seen that uh, you have clearly done self study right mm. so what are the sources that you used and uh, how did you prepare so one most important source is my class notes like okay. institute courses okay so that really helped me a lot okay, other than class notes yeah okay. other than that uh, nptel lectures nptel okay and a uh, few online uh, resources, resources like uh, for example testbook.com okay. and uh, other other websites where they provide free mock tests and test series okay so that really helped me a lot okay and i also tried to like search few books okay uh, for example uh, signals and system allen we open him hmm. and these were, were really very Some good the books reference books that yeah. you took okay yeah so From our library or what <laughs> no i downloaded <laughs> online pdf he downloaded online <laughs> since i was in pandemic but i team should have that books right yeah when i was um, uh, like doing my class work i had that book oh okay okay fine uh, okay great mm, go on and then like uh, towards the end of my preparation like mm -hmm. i felt that like books were going very in depth and i couldn't cover them in yes, time that is one of the thing with books you should not read all the things <laughs> we are not doing <laughs> phd you can't stop reading all the things yeah, if you really are yeah. interesting <laughs> yeah. so like <laughs> then i shifted from books to nptel lectures mm, okay so uh, that was to keep up with the uh, time constraint so time management also like plays a very important role you oh. should know like when to switch gears uh, yeah so uh, so he was actually doing self study so basically he did three things one is like he used his class notes uh, from the lectures that we that was uh, taught in iit madras then he searched for some books right yeah. uh, some reference books and he found that it was like uh, very intensive so he just uh, switched it to nptel so that it would be very short and sweet and some free resources yeah. right in internet like in youtube channel mm -hmm. or something like that so that's he had actually cracked it without spending a single penny right so so yes those who are actually watching and who are actually wanted to you know think that they have to invest in some 1 lakh or 2 lakh because i invested kind of for 2 lakhs for gate so it is actually not required that's the thing so next question this is uh, one of the person when i asked uh, in instagram he said uh, like how did you stay motivated because motivation 
is fucking challenging <laughs> i went to go uh, because i was not able to feel positive oh. right I, i'll put the link in the description you can watch it good video if you want you can watch for some positivity but I how do you i miss uh, going to go you <laughs> should go <laughs> i was like my dad my mom was like okay if you are negative you will go to go what is this logic <laughs> so okay so but practically we have to yeah. speak guys like how you can stay so, positive um, uh, according to me i think discipline is one key important thing which plays which should be like given more priority in everyone's life speaking about priorities uh, i set like gate and my subject as number one priority when compared to other activities mm. and uh, i never regretted mm, regretted that yeah. yeah so that helped me like only if we regret then we'll feel like okay i'm missing out that uh. so and uh, also like i also used to get distracted sometimes but mm. uh, like when i feel distracted and i go off the uh, off work okay. i used to feel guilty, guilty that uh. I, oh, I am do- why am i doing unproductive things ah, okay. so then i used to get back on work and when i do productive things i start feeling good about myself yeah 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 and i will not say that like it will be difficult uh, initially like uh, yeah, one yeah. one week or so but if you start really start feeling that goodness in you when you yeah, yeah, yeah. when you, you do the work progress, right? Yeah, right i i also somewhere read like uh, there's one guy his name is adam grant so he mm. told like uh, when you see some progress in yeah. doing something that will actually motivate mm. you so whenever actually you guys are actually feeling demotivated kind of thing when you should actually kind of uh, you know do some work when you do some work you will see some progress then actually you will get motivated and i also personally see in youtube some videos will never get uh, views so i will start the again you know so scripting and doing videos and then i will get the motivation back so don't wait for motivation just do the fucking work motivation will come okay so after your uh, first attempt that mm. didn't go well so what was your uh, initial reaction <laughs> so first attempt like i did not prepare fully okay. and when i gave and i got 56 out of 100 uh, i was happy like i was happy for that score and i thought like without even preparing so much i got 56 yeah. so yeah. let me try next time with preparing yeah so that motivated me to give second yeah. attempt with preparation i expected a different answer i was actually like a good at maths and aptitude i got full like both the times okay. so that helped me like push the score high oh, okay fine so second time you have prepared everything and it was like uh, you uh, got it i won't say like everything in every in in depth everything like okay. whatever is necessary like okay. when i give gave the first time i was able to understand okay uh, gate has this this much depth okay if we prepare this much depth we can obviously we can. get uh, good mark okay okay fine so i was able to understand that and i pace my preparation according to that okay fine 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 that's uh, so it was like uh, what is necessary only you yeah. have learned and so you uh, what are the necessaries you learned everything in the second time the first time you neglected something yeah okay fine uh, really you are a talented guy <laughs> now we will go to the next question uh, so actually uh, when you are doing the final year you might have placements you might have academic semesters yeah. and you have gate exam on one side and you smashed everything he actually got placed in texas and he is getting some 25 lakhs package and he ca- cracked gate with some ar one so how did you manage that man this is fucking awesome seriously <laughs> i would say <laughs> i really wanted to do something like that <laughs> so tell that secret no, even though they are not listening or they are they don't want i really want to know that tell that secret time so time management and getting success secret so i would say like uh, i had the everything piled up and i just survived through them survived <laughs> <laughs> so like uh, i had my research internship going on so uh, we used to have weekend meetings on saturday or sunday so i used to like start working from thursday friday saturday so that i could produce results on sunday okay Uh, and uh, during my weekdays i used to attend classes and take notes okay so while attending classes and take notes i didn't wa- uh, like it it wasn't required from my side to put more efforts into like preparing during exams okay i just need to revise my class notes mm. and so while studying itself you have put more effort in uh, making things understand yeah, if yeah. you if you listen to class well and take notes that itself like is like yeah, 70% prob- of your uh, you are understanding yeah, yeah. and uh, then uh, like placements and gate so mm. placements also i was aiming for electrical core companies mm. so that and uh, gate also like it's electrical mm. ec okay. so i just couple both okay so i prepared for analog and digital i i revised them those concepts during my initial phases okay. and uh, 
like even like just before my placement i thought i wasn't like very confident with every every everything. Oh, okay. yeah everything but uh, the interview went well and i got placed okay so you were like parallelly managing yeah. giving equal importance to mm. placement and uh, prioritizing uh, so when actually i had one question mm. like when you were placement and gate which you gave first priority gate or placements uh that's what like so at each point of time we need to give priority to one one things yeah, so yeah, when yeah. i had my uh, institute exams okay. i gave priority to exams okay so when i had my placements i gave priority to placements, placements okay. and once placement was done then i gave priority to gate okay. and uh, just like but you haven't completed completely neglected also right no, yeah, yeah. yeah i never completely neglected everything okay, okay. like giving priorities i used to do most of the time that work yeah, whichever yeah. is in the number one priority number one, then correct. like whenever i find some free time i used to do correct, then correct. other things now i understood like y- it should not be like giving priority to only one thing right, right. because we want to uh, achieve he achieved in uh, placement also he achieved in uh, gate also so at the timing w- whichever needs the uh, greatest priority or which will give the highest return you should give priority to that that's really <laughs> informational i will take it personally also uh so next question i just want to ask you is like uh, so what's your mindset is in exam hall because uh, this is really one thing important because gate is something like that will happen only once a year and if you really make a small mistake also it will put your rank some very very disappointing position and mindset is also very important right. we should not be like panic and we should not be like very chill so what should be the mindset uh, you know so tell something so that they can also they should succeed at all costs so tell that point so like while giving a uh, gate both times i wasn't like panic because while giving it first time i know i did not complete it fully okay. complete my entire syllabus okay. so how much ever mark i get i th- i i take it as like success okay so i wasn't panic uh, do, while giving it first time i just attempted whatever questions i know like whatever i have prepared for and i took uh, enough ample time to complete each question mm. so uh, that was first time and uh, second time uh, again i i wasn't like, like giving more importance to like like i i would say like time management is important but at the same time like you shouldn't be in a hurry to complete hurry, each question yeah 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 mm. so i took uh, like again same uh, enough time to complete each question and i was able to complete the entire pra- yeah, paper yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and uh, the other thing is like uh, i got placed already okay. so, so again i was chill, i didn't uh, have uh, that panic mindset uh, okay. maybe if i had a panic mindset that would have been in o- yeah, on the yeah, negative yeah. side yeah correct so yes i also observed that uh, you we should be like uh, you should not take it so serious because mm. taking too much pressure is like you will choke in exam and eventually you will fail at the same time you should not be very chill also like uh, even though he got placed he was like giving importance to it like mm. if you are very chill then you might uh, you know that means uh, you won't get it right so that kind of mild stress is key yeah, right yeah i would say that uh, like focus more on accuracy than like trying to complete all the questions okay so uh, like take enough time to solve each question don't take it too much okay. if you get uh, like a uh, big big questions to answer like it, if you feel that it will take longer time skip that question and okay. go to next question because like uh, it's not it's a gate is a format where you don't have all the questions are very lengthy and tough mm, yeah. they give like mostly easy questions, easy questions. some moderate questions yes, and right. few difficult, difficult question. questions if you right. get stuck and waste more time on those difficult question okay. then you are going to get yeah 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 uh, see school. the moment you realize that the question is very difficult respect and move away <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> respect your opponent yeah. <laughs> oh that's great man another thing is like when you initially start solving Uh, try to solve questions which you like hundred percent know, mm. so that will uh, boost your confidence in the initial few minutes of the exam. Yeah. So I also wanted to ask that well, how should one, uh, you know, start their thing? Yeah. Should they start with the difficult questions or should they start with easy questions? Obviously, so like you should start with easy ones. Easy means like whatever the things that you know, you just yeah. start solving, and whatever mm. you don't know, uh, that's your strategy. Mm-hmm. Okay. So his strategy is this: if you feel that that is good. because uh, that is unique to person right some people start with difficult questions of which are so yes this is a strategy and whatever works for you and you can actually take it and what is the final thing that you wanted to say to aspirants right you are in that position and sometimes you feel like this is something that uh, someone should have told me uh, before because <laughs> uh, what is that thing you should have told that yeah uh, yeah like uh, during my preparation i did everything on my own okay i would say that like 
you have to find your own way mm, yeah. if if you want to succeed like nobody is going to do it for you yeah, yeah. you have to like wake up pedal your cycle yeah correct yeah so i would say like stay motivated and uh, you'll definitely do well yeah. one day so even if you are like not doing well today don't lose focus yeah just action action yeah action. Thank you thank you so much guys and another we are making one more video like how to crack gate in college so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video bye bye